first for the Hawks. Jeff Teague and Lou Williams, the back. And holding down the middle, a tremendously hardworking and first little big man out of the Dominican Republic, Al Horford. Then there's Kyle Cork, and it's Millsap in at the four. And for the Grizzlies, Conley and Allen are the guard set. And at the center position, an impressive combination of size and skill, the 7 1 Spaniard, Mark Gasol. Then there's Tishon Prince, and it's Randolph in at the four slot. Oh, he's going to keep back. Hanging those home if you give them that much space. Outside Conley. Back to Gasol. Gets it out to Allen. Memphis moving that ball around. Outside Conley. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. T dishes to Corver. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. And so it's Memphis with it. It's a three-point game. Randolph, a screen on Teague. Back to Conley. One second left. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to... So far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter up and going. And when you consider how Atlanta is doing, Steve, Clark, your thoughts? Just the start they wanted to this game. Solid offense. They got good ball movement. They established a nice rhythm. Yeah, not stagnant at all. Free-flowing and fluid at the offensive end. This all no good. Memphis on defense. Horford kicks to Jenkins. Passes it to Kira. Jacks up a three. That's good. Terrell's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for Atlanta. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. Outside Conley. The feed now to Bayless. Now the dish to Gasol. He gets stolen by Jenkins. Horford the pass to Schroeder. Rebounded by Bayless. Really high-quality shot there, just a little off with his release. That miss right there will definitely leave him shaking his head. Pondexter dishes to Bayless. Pass to Pondexter. Kicks to Conley. He feeds it to Bayless. And the three off target. And we've reached halftime in this one. It's Atlanta. Now, presented by Sprint. It's third. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. The Hawks last season weren't really a bad offensive team, but they did have one of the more memorable offensive nights, and not for anything positive. In the January game against the Tough Bulls team, the Hawks only scored 58 points over the course of the entire game. This all set in the pit for Conley. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Conley's got the first pass to start out the third quarter for Memphis. Outside T. Takes a three. Cannot hit. Good work defensively by Conley. As you said, the Hawks had one of the worst offensive nights, Clark, in the NBA. But overall, we're a solid offensive team. Right around the middle of the league. Steve just goes to show what can happen when a team goes cold. Yeah, when you don't have that one guy who you can always lean on to score, I mean, there are going to be some nights where everything just misses. And I think that was the case that game against Chicago. It was kind of bizarre, but hey, over the course of 82 games, it's going to happen. That's good. Not trying to rattle any rims or racks there. Just up and in with the finger roll. Teague for three. No good trying to beat the buzzer. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. Teague's gone 104 from the field. Prince, right side. It's tipped. That's out of bounds. The Gears is able to retain possession here.
Here's Allen to tie it up. Knocked loose. Sinks it. He has tied up this game. Oh, what a shot. This could be a turning point. Kevin, critical possession here. Williams for three. Buries it from outside. Oh, that is a massive shot. You know it is. He's stepping right into the spotlight. Conley gets to Gasol. Back to Conley. Outside Prince. Rebound by the Hawks. Watt is on the line here. Well, how about the intensity and focus of the crowd here? So loud in this place. Good. An example right there, guys, of how even as their lead grew into a big one, they never started coasting. That's the truth. I mean, they've been in charge of this game all the way through. Conley gets the bucket. And there's been zero effort defensively by both these clubs tonight. And don't let that high score fool you. I mean, it's a product of poor defense more than great offense. Yeah, you can't let them pound the ball and just milk those precious seconds away. No other option here but to foul and hope for a few misses at the line. Corver, no luck. I don't mind that shot, though. He's an excellent three-point shooter. He's just showing a lot of confidence there. I'm right with you there, Steve. I mean, let it throw when you're doing it. And so it's the Hawks who come out on top. It was tight, but they managed to come up with...